Welcome Legionnaires to another Tips and Tricks for Rome Total War with Joe and this one I'm going to be showing you what garrison you should have with Romans on a small town with a wooden palisade. Now this is going to be pre-Marion, uh, no after Marion obviously because like why would you have pre-Marion, pre-Marion stupid. So we're going to be thinking about, we're just going to fight against Gaul for now because it's, it's more about what I'm going to be putting into the fort and uh, where you need to station them more than again than actually fighting. So we're gonna I'm just gonna put like a basic army they would have make their army first. Uh, they would have a probably a noble general, barbarian warlord, or two of them, thank you. A couple unit of spears. So the, their armies are very so I don't I haven't really seen any Natic fanatics on the campaign. They definitely like to bring their heavy car, uh, heavy spears. I see a couple of chosen swordsmen. I don't see more than one normally per army. I will see some swordsmen and I don't really, I've never seen them use archer yet, but I have seen them use a thing called Raider Cav. Uh, they're gonna have, they normally make three uh, seed equipment, so that's, um, we're not gonna upgrade it for this army because it's not needed. It's more to show you um, their troops. Now their army costs 10,000 exactly, which is pretty cheap. Let's say if you didn't have, you did, you just needed a little garrison, it's pre it's after the Marion, so you can have all your legionnaires. You'd want a You'd, uh, you'd want a general, but to say we didn't have one, we'd have a couple units. Well, yeah, we'd have a couple units of auxilia. Auxilia are pretty good troops. They have low attack, but um, and low defense. But they um, they they they've got spears. So that's pretty much the reason why you'd have them. A couple unit of legionary cohorts to make up the army unit. Actually, you'd have a bit more um, spearmen because they're cheap, and you'd want them to protect your fort, really. You don't want too many legionnaires because they cost a lot of money to keep. You will definitely want your archer auxiliary there. A decent amount of it. Even if you are in a little fort. And it won't be Equites, it would be Roman Cavs. You definitely want to finish off um, your Roman Cavs. So this is a, a bigger uh, fort, but if it's a this is going to be like a frontline fort. So you'd want a decent military defense. So you'd, you'd want this because you would want uh, to have a strong, a decent amount of spears to counteract the Raider Cav, which I may say is very fucking strong, and I will definitely say it's very strong. And you, like, really, I really don't know if I'd put them in. So let's put them in and see if they actually do as good as I think they would. So this is more of a test to see if they'd do it, but I know that these troops uh, are, and these are normal Rome are very useful boost up by 80 because you really wouldn't have it really doesn't matter how much what you'd have on the troops so there's 5,000 troops we have nowhere near as many as them. they have 3,000 troops and to be honest they normally like full stacks so we'll go for another sword unit we'll just give them another couple of sword unit okay another sword unit so they've got a decent sized army which is the number of 3,300 whereas we only have 2,000 and we're in a fort so we're going to get on the battle map and I'm going to show you where you position your men great effect. Now, bear in mind we're in a Roman city, so the streets are going to be thin, and they're not going to be like a barbarian city settlement everywhere. So, you don't really need to defend the gates. So if we just cut, recall everyone back to the centre for now. So the centre on this... Okay, that was a bad idea. Bad idea. Thank God. Cool. So you want, you'd want... Well, you'd want your cavalry to pursue a flanking manoeuvre over here. So you want your cavalry at a different entrance to the way that your, um, your enemies come in. So you'd want them right there. So you wouldn't want really use your cavalry exactly to uh, fight in the center of the thing. So we'll get our, we, this is the general unit. Where it would normally be a cavalry, but for this it's, it's a auxiliar. Because the game's a bit annoyed at me. So these, these are pretty lightly armored, not really a big shield. But they have spears, which means they are going to be your frontline troops in defending the fort and because this is there's actually quite a lot of them I didn't expect them to be like be that wide there we go compress them Comp so if we use these two compressed we should be able to make a decent sized wall that should just do if we increase the ranks of files of keyboard you want to make sure there's no gaps fuck's sake Works what I wanted. Right, you. Man. Fuck's it. Sorry, guys. This is taking. This is doing my head in. Trying to get the exact put ranks. 
There we go. That's the map. You want a wall, thick wall there. So you want your legionnaires behind your main line. So you the main line, they're coming in and they're going to hit your main wall. So you want your legionnaires in and you want them on tech. You do not want Testudo. Testudo is not in enforced use ability. But you want them behind your men so they can throw Peeler at them. You want all the back exits covered as well. What's that formation? Formation button is C, so you want them to defend there. And you'll also want them. Forward. It's my phone, don't worry guys. Sorry, I heard a noise and I wondered what the hell it was. Again. So Move this formation. is this is a big garrison for a city. But um you will need it. Now you're Archers, how we're gonna fit them in? We I actually don't know. That's the best way to fit them in. Put them amongst your legionnaires. So, if, okay, I've started the battle. So if we look, this is a defended base, and I didn't put the light troops in. Should be able to get that. There, okay. I'll put them into loose. We're gonna run them in over there in loose formation. Uh, we, I, I should have really put them in. What you really want to do is we're gonna walk your cavalry out. We don't want to get over the top. So the battle is not in our favour, which most sieges won't be. Most sieges you will not have the upper hand. Uh, it's their raider cav you nearly need to watch out for. Unfortunately, they, they all their rams will get to the gate. Uh, I don't, they, they, for some reason they're using swordsmen, which is weird. I, they, I normally see them use spearmen, but they're using swordsmen for breaking into the pallet, uh, fort today. Um, so we, we've got a little, we've got a big defense here. Yeah, can you hurry up and get into... Stop, oh shit, 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 lag. Okay, stop being annoying. A remake? No, I am not going to remake. This line needs to be. This li that line will have to do. You want your men on defend though. All of them. So obviously your um that is going to be very very um like finicky. So you can't really look at it as much look a lot as long as you need to. So this is when they're they're all going to charge in. You need to wait until you can see all of the troops run in. So they, when they're on the walls down, they'll literally make a mass charge in. Rely on men to be a new wall. So literally everyone Look will run in now. The walls That's when you want to run enemy. after the have abandoned us. Nope, the gods have not abandoned us. We're just using a strategy which means we need them to break for a while. All defenses are broke. Uh, literally going to do good and we need to definitely take them off skirmish or they'll ruin the whole inner formation you want everyone on them um, guard though apart from your cavalry obviously now we're bringing up our cavalry around the side they're going to try and flank the center in as many ways as possible we want we, it doesn't as long as we've got the archers we don't really it doesn't really matter about our um, the rest of our men and what you need to do is we need to take out the general so if you launch an attack early on the general, they all their men will lose heart. They might even bring out some uh, troops to come and deal with you. Which looks like the, what they're doing with the raider cavalry. But I believe our Roman uh, Roman cavalry will get in uh, get into um, a bit of a fight before that. Uh, you you want to dishearten your foe, but you'd, it's better just to shoot plain arrows. Uh, so we're, they're going to get massacred in this period, little in the long lane there. The general is going to run at our cavalry, which is far superior because there's more of us. So uh, if you use like one of your units, can you keep kept a couple of units to attack and then get one of your units around him? They're going to break completely. So you don't really need to watch the center as much as you need to watch the gen outside with your cavalry. Your cavalry is a micromanaging task, really. So, defending the inside, of course, there's a lot of troops, but um, breaking the general will pretty much win you the fight. 
So the tip, my main tip at the moment in this, in this part in this thing is break the general down with the cavalry. Always have a ga cavalry garrison. You need it. As you can see, we've also already the killed. Enemy general is running away. Let's have a look. This is no one percent, two percent of their army with archers. Battle, Hopefully, we can get the actually kill the general. Now you, you want to pursue him with one unit of cavalry, and then you want to take two units down and have a bit of fun. It looks like they've given up, so the the general shouldn't come back now. Cause there's only two of them. So we're gonna run back down and make get behind our uh, enemy. Uh, the chosen swordsmen are gonna be a bitch, and so is the heavy spearmen. Ho you just need to hope that your main these the auxiliary should hold auxiliary. enough. <laughs> they haven't even got into guard mode yet. Now they go. There, there, there. there. That's their guarding mode. So. What you want to do is you want to pick off all the people at the back of the group. Because they're going to be in such a long line, normally they'll send the spearmen in first as well. Which means that you'll literally get a lot of kills for free. Now, the mo uh, on the other flanks, you don't really have much protection. But if you can kill the general, the general's now routed completely, which means they've now got a big problem. And that's called multiple units of cavalry that are going to squash them into the center. Now, the se reason why we've got a second line of uh, legionnaires behind our auxiliary is because the auxiliary will be pushed in by cavalry. And it says defeat seems certain. Well, they're against spear units. What the hell do you expect? They're so is that swordsmen? Yep, the swordsmen are coming in for us. So we're going to come and have a little bit of fun with our cav. You need to, ho you need to believe in your troops. Your troops won't break when they're that close to the center. And because we've got the cavalry squash pushing them up, we're now push keeping them in this lane. They could run out, but they're not going to get anywhere, really. Please tell me that's not spears. Nope, it's chosen swordsman. Uh, in the street, cavalry is not going to fight as well as um, quite a, a lot of their troops. But you needed the cavalry more for the general killing and harassment, uh, mainly. So. Some cavalry auxiliary will be good. So the Raider Cav is routing, which is the heavy unit, if you don't believe it or not. And they've actually completely pushed back this front line into my um, auxiliary troops. So, well, into my legionnaires. So your legionnaires now are going to be the bulk of their army. They're going to—they're the ones pushing the th fight. Try and get keep. Uh, if you when you're sieging, just try and keep the, the enemy um, men to a minimum amount of. Um, a minimum amount of men when they leave and you wanna so now they've got a mass route now their general's gone they've literally nothing to live for literally they literally will run see i don't think half of these troops have touched my men and they're running yeah they, they've they've lost pretty much no one see they're just they're, they're pushing away numerous assaults and if they actually want to leave they're gonna have to get through your big cavalry or run around which you you should really capitalize on, but if they've if they've still got incoming waves, don't. But obviously you're gonna ha you're gonna want to make sure you can retrain all the men here, so you can you only want to recruit troops that you can recruit in there. But by the Primarion, you should be able to recruit everything you need. So all of the leg early legionnaire cohorts, Legion early legionnaire cohorts, because they're cheaper than the normal legionnaires. They're actually gonna start pushing back and start stop routing now. So what I'm going to do is, I believe it's you and you. Yeah, we're going to push them over there. Uh, you normally you don't want to break position, but because of um, the, if you're going to win, if you already know you're winning, breaking position could be good and good to plan to try and um, stop them from really getting too much win victory, too much of a push down you. And now what we're going to do uh, is we're going to leave him. We're going to come and help our cavalry. We're going to use our legionary cohorts because um, they're better. And we're actually just going to completely mess, mess these units up. Your cavalry will take a lot of pro hurt, but um, it's worth it, trust me. You don't want to engage any spear units. So at the moment, we've we've only lost 10% of our army. And we have massacred a lot of them. We've literally, literally, guys, look at this. We've got rid of... 40, 50%, and these are the 
type of troops that Rome uh, Gaul will normally bring, and I don't believe they don't change units, so that's they've always got these. And I'm actually gonna bring them back over now to destroy these because a cavalry did a lot better work than I thought. Uh, oh crap! They've got some they've got some men over here routing, so we're gonna go um, stop them from routing by destroying them. Yes, our cavalry has done quite a good thing. They've separated. You're going to get the top there, and you're going to go smash it from the top. Roman cavalry. So, Roman cavalry are extremely... I think they're pretty cheap as well. They're as cheap as equites, which isn't an expensive unit in itself. So, these troops have... Uh, they're chosen swordsmen, so you need to try and deal with them with a decent amount of your men. How many men? So, look, we've, we've took it down to 23 units, so we, we're just, there's no point in fighting them anymore. Might as well come and have a little more fun with the ones up here. The skirmishers. So this is how you basically need to deal with a siege. You need to use your cavalry to get rid of their general ASAP. If their general's a spear, if they don't have a general and they have a spear unit for a general, still try and flank it, and because they will stay outside. So try and use one unit to a frontal assault, take the losses, use the rest of your troops to get round him and destroy them. So now that these men have been finished routing, we need to finish off the chosen swordsmen, which will fight for a while. So we're going to bring our cavalry around on the flank. So quite a lot of the micromanage is going to be with any cavalry units you have. So the Gaul think they're going to win on this side. What you need to do is you need to show them why they're not. By bringing up some reserves, which are you going to be your cohorts. And it looks like the chosen swordsmen on this flank have decided that it's not worth fighting anymore. Like Gaul have lost and for, the vic for Gaul they're going to need to leave. Which is just pushing it. This battle was not in our favour when we begun. And we've still got Pillar being thrown. Uh, so these troops aren't really going to live very long. Your cavalry units will take a lot of losses. I'm going to actually use. I'm going to separate your cap, your cap, my cav. Because they've got heavy spear. Do not just go there. We'll meet you back around there. You want to finish off as many units as you can. Now, as soon as we finish with this flank. And we've finished with that flank. You're going to get your legionnaires. And what we're going to do... We're going to go say hello to the warband that's over here. Because why should they live when they attacked our beautiful settlement? And push down our beautiful walls. But we're going to show them why we're not going to listen to that shit. We do need to get these heavy spearmen disbanded. But if we can keep them looking away from us, we should be able to shout them with one hit. I believe, yep, the Legion, here comes the Legionnaires. The Legionnaires are in their beautiful, uh, with their Gladius and their Scutum and their chainmail armor, they are running down. They're gonna run down and throw the shit out of the pillar. And they've realized that we have cavalry, so we're gonna, they've realized the cavalry is onto them. So you wanna pull them out. My mouse was not working then, so I wasn't able. I couldn't click the unit, which was getting a bit annoying. And there's the rest of the. Um, and so what you wanna do is you actually wanna charge your men in. You don't really wanna use pillar at them. Uh, it's good of the idea, but um, pretty, all you need to do is you need to engage their spears. So try and engage the spears, and then if you, once you, you know the spears are engaged, bring up your cavalry, and um, pretty much finish off the rest. I don't really, this is like a, a, a Roman siege tactic. I don't really play as a Roman. As you can see, the victory is ours. They have completely routed. No point playing on because it's just a demo. And look at that. We only lost, we didn't even go down to three, we didn't even go past 2,000 men. All it was is really Auxilia that we lost. And Auxilia are, are trainable uh, just as much as, uh, they're pretty much as trainable as Hestati. They're trainable everywhere. So we didn't lose any art. We lost one archer, which I believe got healed. Did he? Nope, he didn't get healed. He did lose, sustain it, and he did he did die. But um, that's not really that bad. We lost none of our auxilia, no, pretty much no legionnaires, and we lost. I did lose a lot of cavalry, but the cavalry's picked up pretty much all the kills. So that is the um, tips and tricks on how to win a use a garrison your fort with Roman with Roman uh, after Marian after the Marian reforms. So you, you just need a little army. You can go small in this. You could downsize to around about four. You need a decent. You need to be able to pre prepare all the site like soccer balls. So you need at least four 
and you do need at least two uh, legionnaires. But you can max, you can pretty much uh, get rid of as much uh, the infantry. You can get rid of all the missiles if you really wanted to. But um, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely say at least at least keep one archer unit, and de you definitely need three, two units of cavalry. Definitely two. It works just for normal Roman troops, but it's a bit harder because you, you instead of these you'd need triarii to be just as effective, uh, just as effective. So, well, more because they do damage damage. But that's that's the point. But your troops will gain get a lot of kill. You will hardly take any casualties, and you will literally crush the enemy. On that note, guys, I will see you guys later for another tips and tricks for Roman total war. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Legionnaires, stay proud to the Shadow Legion. Mm -hmm.